Marcus, one of our latest followers sent me this. Consider it a follow-up on Holmes' CEO. Yo, check it. I was on the treadmill when this pissy-looking guy came up with a trainer and kicked me off. Marcus, look familiar, so I'm I looking at some of your show. handywork. It was right Steve fucking Banner. on. The guy in charge Thank of you, home. fan club president. We get more followers? Oh, yeah. We got like followers. You did good, Marcus. I think we can pack it in. <laughs> I'm just getting started. There's one target you didn't think of that I've been dying to hit. Oh, yeah? What is it? You'll see. It'll be on the news. What guys think about shooting a little exercise fail video starring the CEO of Home? Steven Bader? I'd love to have another go at humiliating that pompous ass. Why an exercise video? Peeping Steve is at the gym right now. Buckle in and get ready for a show, my friend. <laughs> Christmas is coming early this year. I give up. I'm just going to give up. What's wrong? I'm a student at Oakland Advanced Tech. We entered Noodle's e-card challenge, and we just keep losing. We can't seem to beat the fancy schools, especially Stanford. They're backed by big companies with all kinds of tech. We're just Oakland. It's hopeless. Hey, Oakland's got energy and grit. Oakland can get it done, man. I'm from Oakland. I like the way you think. You want to be our driver? You kidding? Somebody has to. Count me in. My name's Marcus. Good to meet you, Marcus. I'm Taylor. Good luck on the first race. can't beat these guys. Look, if you get yourself a decent battery, it would help a lot getting off the block. Yeah, makes sense. I'll see if I can find you one.
Jasmine. All right, Jasmine, what you got for me? Well, I read somewhere that when we wash our clothes, you know, like, use the washing machine, we waste, like, a lot of water, right? True that. Right, so I thought that we should all just wash our clothes together. Together? Who? Well, instead of using all our own machine for a few things, we could just meet at the laundromat and put all our clothes together and wash them at the same damn time. You want to put, to, to mix your clothes with a stranger? Are we sure this caller is a female? Oh, hell no. Uh-uh, we're getting punked. <laughs> She's playing us. You got raised in one of those progressive homes, am I right? <laughs> Everyone walking around naked and composting their banana peels and whatnot. That's just na- Okay, there's our CEO. I hope he enjoys the workout we're about to give him. Knock him off his cankles. <laughs> Cardio day. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> Dude, are you okay? Uh, oh. I always loved the bad poetry contest at Swelter Skelter, so I can't. You get all that? Marcus, that was the most beautiful thing I've experienced today. Sending the video out. The sheer beauty of a douchebag falling on a treadmill could bring peace to the world. Since when do you want peace? I mean metaphorical peace.
original Chicago DedSec has coordinated operations, everybody mostly working towards the same goal. Rumors say that the leaderless group actually has somebody upstairs calling the shots. The Council of Daves. I can't say if it's true or not, but somebody's focusing their efforts. I know because I studied everything about them, even ran a few of their ops. I wanted to emulate them, try to figure out what worked for them and apply it to us. But the members of our Bay Area dead set couldn't be more different from each other. Now, if there was a spectrum spanning anarchists to activists, we'd probably fill the whole damn thing. But there's one thing that unites the key crew. Each one of us has reason to hate big data, or more specifically, Bloom. Shit, shit, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Hey, shit, man, what's, shit. What, hey, what's going on? I was looking at our numbers, how many people downloaded our app, how much processing power we had available, and that's when I saw it. It, what, it, what? A chunk of our followers and bots came from inactive or dead invite accounts. Hey, wait, so someone used a social media site to boost our numbers? Who? And how many fucking accounts? Man? I don't know who, but it came from inside invite. Someone with admin access, I'm sure of that. As for how many? Fuck Sorry. Me. Sorry, I didn't check. It's... No, it's all my fault. I didn't check. Josh, no, I didn't check. You know, maybe someone inside invite is a fan. Yeah, or maybe we're getting set up to get fucked. Check. Check. We need to find out. Marcus, find your way inside. I should I should have just Josh, checked. Josh. It's not your fault, okay? Look, we all saw the numbers. You're the only one who caught it. You did good. You did good. Huh? DedSec found Josh, hot sauce, posting anti-CTOS videos on invite. Kid had a plastic Halloween mask over his face, a skull, but like the worst dollar store skull you could find. You could see his eyes through it, big no-no when it comes to avoiding a profiler. He had a distorted voice, but he didn't change his speech patterns. See, Josh, he's high-functioning autistic, which means he's got a very specific way of talking. Sitar found him easily, but he wasn't at all what we expected. When you get down to pure coding, Josh operates on a higher level than the rest of us. We got a look at a CTOS profile and all kinds of nasty flags popped up. Emotionally challenged, unstable, even a low mental maturity score. He's none of those things, and he quickly became the activist soul of our group. He has a black and white way of seeing things, fair and unfair. Which means he can be refreshing and often hilarious. We caught a glimpse of the damage CTOS dealt him. Rejected care programs, cut funding, overcharges. We offered to help him make things right. When we met Josh, he had the right intentions and the wrong approach, like a laser putting on a pretty light show instead of burning holes. If Bloom's system wants to make him unemployable, damn straight we're gonna snatch him up and point him right back at him. <laughs>
pedo? Yo me largo. Aguas. Sending you the flagged accounts. Use the CEO's computer, Mary Catskill. She's on vacation, so her office should be empty. Got any others? Oh, you make me yeah. Still should help her. It's heartbroken, you know? I mean, you're a kid. It's not fair. I mean, they know everything about you. Every little thing. These apartment buildings with no parking. Not bold, not a real bird. A pinch of lookout. Much better. What is this? I mean, this is the fuck with the desk guys. You know what I mean? So now what's my time? They had some bitch hackers. Is this his way of saying no? They won't even give me a little bit of a loan to help get my life straight.
Te lo juro que toma fotos. Luego hace una llamada. Sí, a eso me refiero. No, no. ¿Cómo? Lights fucked up. The regular lights, the street lights. Oh, Dios. Emotional contagion testing presented a bigger challenge to us. Our goal was to take more business focused users, those with less social media interaction, and attempt to shift their emotional profiles. Altering their news feeds and social reminders had little impact, as they primarily use invite to promote their products. So we took a different approach. We focused on their businesses. Suggested sites and recommended articles were custom tailored to each client, showing promotional material from their more successful competitors. We also focused on links to stories about major failures and bankruptcy in the client's field of work. While we saw no real change in post content, we saw clear impacts on their businesses, price drops, investment in training, and even layoffs. I unlocked the elevator. Heading there now. Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! Heading up. I'm gonna get us some answers. Good luck, Marcus. We're with you.
I'm in. Trying to figure out who boosted our numbers. Whoa, whoa. What happened? The flight clients just vanished. We lost the bots. What did you do? Nothing. This isn't me. I... Marcus, is this a bad time? Sort of feels like a bad time. And she drinks it with ice. I don't really need to introduce myself, do I? I know who you are. That night at the beach, man, I knew you looked fucking familiar. Well, Venus must have been in retrograde or some bullshit because I think it was fate that I was in the night that you hacked into our system. I had to meet you, and there you were, pissing on your sneakers. All brains and no aim. What's Bloom's CTO doing in the office of the CEO of Invite? And why'd you boost our numbers? Uh, this is the part where you offer me a six-figure salary? <laughs> no, fuck no. No, no, no. You could coat circles around most of my programmers, no, see, I can't pitch uh, CTOS 2.0 as a state-of-the-art security system and then hire someone that's on the no-fly list. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just came here to have a drink. But hey, if you want to have a drink and a dance, I'm in. Oh, you think it's a fucking joke? Do it. Roll fucking punch. You got everybody eating out your fucking hands, thinking the system's bulletproof? You can't see the people you're stepping on. Guess what, Marcus? Guess what? The people want to be told who is good and who is bad. They don't care how it works, only that it does. It doesn't fucking work. A few fucking civilian casualties is the cost. You have to pay for the betterment of the world. You're fighting a war no one gives a shit about. Now they're just swimming upstream right into the grizzly's mouth. So why'd you prop up dead sex numbers? There's no one in Silicon Valley could throw a proper punch. That, and you're a great investment. You're so aggressive, so indignant. You frightened the rest of Silicon Valley right to my doorstep. You used us to sell CTOS 2.0 to them. It was the ultimate deterrent against hackers like you. And now, everyone needs my protection. So, here it is, Marcus. Your record is back on file. Your backdoor access is plugged. And those bots I gave you, they're gone. Oh, 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 and there's a warrant out for your arrest. Hacking, corporate espionage, and breaking and entering. It's okay. I was done with it anyway. Fuck! I got played. Fuck! 
cops are surrounding the building. Get out of there. Fuck! Marcus, they're surrounding the building. Get pissed later and get out now! I repeat, come out with your hands up! Alright, alright, I'm... I'm gone. We've got a patrol van in pursuit of suspect. Uh, we have a suspect in view. Repeat, suspect is in range. Marcus, it's getting too hot out there for you. Come back. We'll figure this out together. It's not that bad. We look like a bunch of chumps. Stop fucking damn it! Wrench, calm the fuck down. It's not helping. Yeah, you're right. It's not helping. Marcus, you got anything to say? 
Well, guys, I, to be honest with you, uh, I genuinely don't have a plan. But I got an idea, and I don't know, just trust me on this one. Things haven't been great lately. Yeah, they suck. But whatever shit we're in now, that's now. You helped us find our voice. We took on the Giants and had one motherfucker of a run. Never thanked you for any of it. Hey, why are you talking like it's over? Isn't it? I'm still in. I know you are, and we can convince others that you're not in. These are from our DeadSec channels. DeadSec is not worthy. DeadSec is a bunch of skiddies. You told us lies and bullshit. Hashtag DeadSuck. Yeah, so we got some shit stirrers. Who cares what they think? Who cares what they... Jesus, Marcus. Have you been paying attention? I care what they think. I've worked my ass off for years, trying to earn us respect long before you ever showed up. This is my brand. Now it's completely fucked. So unfuck it. I don't know if I can. Uh, well, if it makes you feel any better, at least you're not a fugitive. <laughs> oh, damn. I wonder if there's a bounty on your head. Maybe I can salvage this. Oh, please, man. you couldn't catch me if you wanted oh, to. Oh, you're talking to a track star, bitch. Just walk. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to hurt anything. Yeah, me neither. If I gotta drag their asses out to the middle of the desert to keep DeadSec together, I'm gonna do. Dead sex come too far to give up now. Skelter Skelter's third annual Jabber 